My name is Sarah. Uh -huh. And my name is Thea. Okay, and where are you from? Um, uh, I'm from Shingal. It's a small town uh, to the north brain of Mosul. Okay. But I grow up in Baghdad. Okay, so. okay. And I'm from Erbil. From Erbil, okay. Yeah. And uh, where are we today? <laughs> <laughs> Today we are in um, Kurdistan University in Erbil. Um, uh, today we are celebrating the International Women's Day in the auditorium of the University of Kurdistan, Hawler. Uh, have you had International Women's Day celebration here before? Or is this the first time? Actually, it's the first time. It's the first time? Yeah. Okay. Whose idea uh, was it? Today, what, what will happen today? Uh, it's like a small party for women uh, to participate and in order to show that they are an important part of the society, they must, be, uh, they must uh, try to get everything they want. They, they don't have to, to only rely on the man. They have to show that they, are, they can do everything. They can do more than you can. Today is our day to be proud of who we are, celebrate our presence, and at the same time, a day to highlight the position of females, especially in our Kurdish society. Today is a day that every Kurdish woman must proudly say, I am a woman. Kulika sere lawanam, rehana rezu chemanam. And that we hope that this celebration will be also a celebration of not only their greatness, but also a call for addressing important problems which are always associated with their situation in this society. There are some signs out front in the, in the courtyard. They say uh, no more honor killing. Uh, can you tell me about this honor killing uh, tradition? I'm unfamiliar with it. What 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 does it include? Can you are you comfortable talking about it? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You said I want to talk about. It's okay. Um, well, honor killing usually happens when uh, a family suspects that her he, her daughter is um, uh, dating a person that is not a husband or fiance. So they usually murder that girl um, in different ways. Some people just use guns, others uh, just cut the head. Or sometimes, and sometimes they flush them to pieces. Yeah, and also sometimes it's not uh, something real happening, just based on a rumor. A girl can be killed just based on a rumor a father or brother heard that their daughter, wife, or any woman in their family had a relationship, an affair, or even just a rumor, they can mm -hmm. kill the girl. But I think um, in Kurdistan there is rule that for prohibiting this act, but the problem is not with the rule, we have the rule, we have the law, but they are not. there's no practice, they don't practice the law. Actually, I think the government is just making the law, um, not doing anything except making law, but they, they don't make sure that these laws are applied. This is called Jilka Kurdi, and this is the, the traditional dress that Kurdish, Kurds wear in Sarani culture and in Bahadini culture. So, the I will turn around and... Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> wow! You can tell the, the been responsible they have uh, they have uh, volunteered to do this they have been responsible for it they have organized it every bit of organization from the scratch right from the beginning to the end has been voluntary is done by them is conceived planned and executed by them I am very grateful and, uh, I just want to say please uh, to every woman in this world please please don't stop don't stop try try until you get what you want.